Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to show you something that you should always do in a modern car when you change your battery so you don't end up having weird electrical problems. Over the past decade and even a little bit further back, I've had lots of customers come to me and say, I changed the battery in my car and now it's not running right. Sometimes they'd idle poorly, sometimes things like the power windows or the radio wouldn't work, and sometimes they wouldn't even start. They couldn't understand why, and here's what happened. If you disconnect the battery in a modern computer, it turns off the computer's keep alive memory. As you can see in this diagram, many things in a modern car are controlled by computer, not just the engine control, but heck, electronic power steering, blind spot detection, navigation systems, security systems, all kinds of things that can go haywire if you disconnect the power to the battery. So when you put in the new battery and then start the car, a lot of times the computers have to relearn idle speed and all kinds of stuff. Toyotas will often idle poorly after you do that. Generally, they'll reset themselves after a few days of driving, but take a car like this Mercedes, and this thing, if you disconnect the battery, Sometimes it will require numerous module reset procedures to be done with a factory stand tool that can take hours and hours and cost quite a bit of money. And all you need is one of these OBD2 Keep Memory Alive tools. I got this one on Amazon for like 15 bucks. You just get the device, then you plug it into the OBD port in the dash. Then you connect that positive to positive, negative to negative, to any 12 volt supply. I'm using this bolt power little jumper pack. I got tons of them lying around, but you can use another battery. Any 12 volt battery will work. Then that 12 volt stays inside the system. So when you disconnect the battery and put another battery in, the computer still has power and it won't lose all its keep alive memory. I remember the first time decades ago I was working on a Saturn, changed the battery in the car when I was doing an alternator job, and then the next day the customer called me and said, what you do my car, it's idling really poorly. Then I did a little research and found out that it had shut off the keep alive memory and had to relearn all the idle strategies. So from now on, whenever I do batteries, I put one of these in and I don't have to deal with any of that stuff. Then you don't have to worry about losing all your radio stations, or even worse, if you have a security radio station, it'll say security and your radio won't work until you reprogram it. And in those anti-theft radios, if you don't have the code, you can't even listen to it, and sometimes you gotta pull the radio out, and there's a number on the back, and you get that number, call up the dealer. It can be a real pain in the butt. So now you know. The next time you gotta change your battery, Get one of these $15 Keep Alive Memory Tools and you'll really thank me. More quick fixes on the Scotty Kilmer channel. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.